Good morning. How are you? How are you? Good morning, friends. Thank you for coming to Circle Time. My name is Miss Monica. What's your name? Well, welcome to Circle Time. It's so nice to have you here with me today. I can't wait to, oh, oh my goodness. Do you hear that? Listen, oh, put on your listening ears. Do you hear that? I think it's the good morning train. Yes, the good morning train is coming. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo, choo. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo, choo. The good morning train is coming. The good morning train is coming. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo, choo. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing what color? Red, that's right, choo choo. Hello friends. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing purple. Yes, hello friends wearing purple, choo choo. And we'll say hello to our friends, all of our friends wearing blue. Hello friends wearing blue, choo choo. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing what color? White, that's right, choo choo, hello friends. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing pink. Yes, hello friends wearing pink, choo choo. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing brown. Hello friends wearing brown, choo choo. And we'll say hello to our friends, all of our friends wearing what color? Orange, choo choo. Hello friends wearing orange. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing what color? Green, that's right, choo choo. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing black, choo choo. Hello friends wearing black. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing yellow. Hello friends, choo choo. And we'll say hello to our friends all of our friends and we'll say hello to everyone that came to circle choo choo hello friends how are you thank you for coming to circle and thank you good morning train see you again next week i'm so excited we're here we get to review our entire circle time board today and guess what we're going to do today we are going to do a little bit of writing. So if you need to get paper and crayons and pencils or markers, you can stop the video now and go get that now, or you can do it later. And if you don't have any of those things, it's okay because you can use your pointer with me and practice writing in the air. But that's going to be a little later. But now I need to get my What's that thing called? What is that thing called that I love to hold? My p -p 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 pointer. That's right, my pointer. Pointer starts with the letter P. P, -p pointer. That is correct. Now, let's start with the days of the week. Let's find out what day it is today. You think you can help me? Great, let's sing our days of the week song. And remember, when we're singing the song, you can clap your hands, or you can snap your fingers, or you can just sing, whatever you choose. Let's get started. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. One more time. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Excellent, great singing. Thank you for helping me sing. Now let's find out what day is it today? What is the day of the week? So let's go over to our board. Yesterday was Thursday. That's right, yesterday was Thursday. So let's go down one. Do, 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 do. Today is Friday, F -f -f Friday, F 
for Friday. Today is Friday. Today is Friday. Today is Friday all day long. Yes, today is Friday. Today is Friday. Today is Friday all day long. Yes, that's right. Today is Friday. Let's put Friday on the board. Okay, Friday. There you go. Now let's read the sentence up here. Let's read it together. Are you ready? Today is Friday. Let's read it again. Today is Friday. That's right. Today is Friday. It's the end of the week. It's the end of the week. And it's the last day for circle until we come back after the weekend. We'll come back again on Monday. That's right. Today is Friday. Now let's move on to our number of the week. Who remembers the number of the week? We've been reviewing this number all week long. We counted so many things. We counted toys and we counted fruit and we counted lots of different things. Who remembers? Oh, let's see. You may remember. What number? Number nine. If you said number nine, you are correct. Nine. Nine. There you go. Number nine. Okay. Now, let's count from one all the way through nine. I'm going to write the letters on the board and you help me count aloud. I'm using blue. Okay. Let me open my blue marker. Ready? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There we go. Now let's count them. Help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Do you think we can play missing numbers just like we did yesterday? Do you remember how to play? Remember, I erase a number, you, no peeking at home, then you figure out what number is missing. Think you can do it with all of these numbers? Yes, I think you can do it too. Let's do it together. Okay, remember, no peeking at home, close your eyes. Oh no, there's a missing number. Look, there's a blank space. What number is missing? Let's count and find out. One, two, uh-oh, what number? Let's try one more time. One, two. If you said two, you're correct. Two is missing. Can you say that? Let's say it together. Two is missing. Okay, I'm going to write number two. Two. Let's try it one more time. Okay, no peeking at home. Oh no, there's a missing number. Look here, there's a blank space. What number is missing? Let's count to find out. One, two, three, four, five, six. What number? Let's count one more time. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Yes, if you said six, you're correct. Six is missing. Let's say that together. Six is missing. I'm going to write in number six. Six. We did it. We played missing numbers again with all of these numbers from one through nine. Now let's move on to our letter of the week. Who remembers what our letter of the week is? Our letter of the week makes the sound p, 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 p. Every letter makes the sound and p, 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 p. Who remembers? P, 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 p. P. P says p, 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 p. If you said P, you're correct. P for pretzel. P for purple. 
P for pig. P for parrot. P for piano. P for pencil. And P for point or pointer. Great, that's right. Letter P is our letter of the week. Let's put P on the board, okay? Okay, let's practice our P in the air first with our pointer fingers. Everyone can do this. Pointer fingers up and look at our P. It has a line going down and a line that goes around the curve. So we're going to do that in the air. Are we ready? Okay, point your fingers up. Let's go to the top. And everyone go down, stop. Go back to the top and go around the curve. That's right. Let's try it one more time. Everyone point your fingers to the top and go down, stop. Go back to the top and go around the curve. Great! Now I'm gonna put P back on the board and then I'm going to practice it over on the writing board. Okay. Now if you have paper and crayons or pencil or marker, go get that so you can practice it with me. And if you don't have those things, it's okay. You can use your pointer and practice in the air. Okay, I'm going to use color green this time, the color green, to write our letter P. Remember, you can practice with me I'll do it on the board, you write at home, or you use your pointer finger in the air. Let's do it. Let's practice our lines going down first. Lines going down first. Here we go. Let's go. Start at the top and go down, stop. Let's do another one. Down, stop. Another one. Down, stop. Let's do another one. Down. Stop, great, look at all of those lines going down. Now let's practice some lines with the curve. Are you ready? Okay. Now let's practice our lines with the curve. Start at the top, go around the curve. Again, start at the top, around the curve. Again, start at the top, around the curve. It looks like a backward C. Let's do some more. Again, start at the top, around the curve. Again, around the curve, and again, around the curve. Look at that. Now let's put them together. The lines going down and the around the curve. We're going to put them together. Let me clean my board. Okay, you keep practicing at home, and if you're doing it in the air, get that pointer finger up. Let's try putting them together. Here we go. Down, stop. Now go back to the top and go around the curve. Woo, let's do it again. Start at the top, go down, stop. Go back to the top, go around the curve. Great, let's do it again. Start at the top. Go down, stop. Go back to the top and go around the curve. Again, go down, stop. Go back to the top and go around the curve. Great, look at that. You did it. Letter P, letter P. Every letter makes a sound and P says Great work, everyone. Great, great work. You can keep practicing at home with your family after circle time is finished. But now, let's move on back to our board. Now let's move on to our shape of the week. Who remembers what our shape of the week is? Our shape of the week has three sides. Three sides. And it sounds like this. Triangle, yes, a triangle. Our shape of the week is a triangle and it has three sides. The triangle has three sides. Let's count the sides. One, two, and three. Again, one, two, three. One, two, three. The triangle has three sides. Okay, let's put it on the board. Our shape of the week is a triangle. 
Now I want to uh, now I want to know what's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather out today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it raining out today? I have my weather bag. Let's see, what's the weather out where you live? You may have to look out your window. I'll give you a little bit of time and then tell me what the weather is where you live. <laughs> Oh, are you back? What did you see? What's the weather where you live? Ooh, really? Well, let me look out the window here and find out what the weather is where I live. Hmm. Ooh, I see clouds. Ooh, and I see a little bit of sun. I think it's partly sunny. I think it's partly sunny out. Let's find a picture that represents partly sunny. Okay. okay, look in my weather bag. Now, do you think this picture is partly sunny? Nah, this picture is cloudy. This is a cloudy day. Let's keep looking. How about this picture? Is this partly sunny? No, this is just sunny. All you have here is the sun. I need a picture with the sun and the clouds. Let's keep looking. Is this picture partly sunny? No, this represents snow, a snowy day. Let's keep trying. How about this picture? Is this partly sunny? Yes, this picture has sun and clouds. This is partly sunny. Let's put it on the board. Now we know the weather is partly sunny. Let's read it together. The weather is partly sunny. That's right. Now let's help my friend over here, Mr. Weather Bear. He needs something to go out in the partly sunny weather. So it's a little warm, not really cold. I think he can use something a little light. Let's see. I have my Weather Bear bag. Let's see what we can find for Mr. Weather Bear. It's partly sunny, a little warm. Do you think he should wear his raincoat? No, let's save the raincoat for a rainy day. Do you think he can wear his green jacket? Yes, his green jacket is perfect for partly sunny weather. All right, Weather Bear, there's your green jacket. Now, we all know Weather Bear likes his favorite blue jeans. His favorite blue jeans. Let's put them on. And he needs something on his feet. How about his flip-flops that he wears to the beach? Do you think this is beach weather? No, not yet. It's not hot, so no flip-flops. How about, do, 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 do. how about his sneakers? Do you think sneakers are good? I think they're great for today. Let's try his sneakers. Okay, Weather Bear, you are ready to go. Have a good day. We'll see you on Monday. Weather Bear's ready. Now that we've reviewed our entire Circle Time board, it's time for a Circle Time song. But instead of just doing a song, let's do a book and a song. And I heard that some of my friends really, really liked this book. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? Do you like Brown Bear? Great! And if you've never heard Brown Bear, then you'll hear it now. We're going to read Brown Bear and sing a little song along with it. And I even have my Brown Bear puppets, my little stick puppets. We'll use those too. Are you ready? You can help me match the animals to the animals in the book. Let's do it together. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. and pictures by Eric Carl. Let's sing it. Here's my brown bear. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a, let's see what he sees. I see a red bird looking at me. 
Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a, ooh, what did he see? A yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a, let's see what yellow duck sees. <gasps> a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a, ooh, let's see what he sees. <gasps> a green frog looking at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a, what do you see? A purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a, ooh, what do you see? A white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see the children looking at me. I see the children, all of you, looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? We see the brown bear, red bird, yellow duck, blue horse, green frog, purple cat, white dog, black sheep, goldfish, and the teacher, that's what we see, the end. Thank you everyone for reading with me and singing that song with me. I had an amazing time at Circle Time. I can't wait to see you next week. Have a great weekend with your family and I'll see you again on Monday. Bye.